welcome everyone to mac out electrical engineering channel so the next question or the next theorem which comes for 5 marks is your maximum power theorem okay so the question comes like derive the expression for maximum power theorem and explain why the efficiency is 50% okay so first of all you have to draw the circuit diagram so the circuit diagram is very simple there is one voltage source okay one resistance r one big resistance capital r okay and we are going to the load resistance rl okay there are two points two terminals ab across which the load resistance is placed rl resistance of the circuit r current flowing is i small resistance is the r that is internal resistance and your voltage source so first this theorem is applicable for both ac and dc circuits okay it could be a ac circuit it could be a dc circuit okay so what what is the basic difference between an ac circuit and a dc circuit okay in case of ac circuit power flow is constant a uh, power flow can be reverse changed okay power flow can be changed but in this dc circuit power flow is constant means if it is flowing at 220 volts it will flow at 220 volts you cannot change this voltage okay but in case of ac you can increase it or you can decrease it but in case of dc you cannot change it okay okay now when applied to dc circuit so this maximum power theorem when applied to dc circuit it is stated as resistive load with an extract maximum power from the circuit when load resistance is equal to resistance of the network from the output terminal with all the sources of energy removed leaving behind the internal resistance what does this statement means it is saying that when you view this circuit from this side okay when you view this circuit from this side from the output terminal so when will this circuit extract abstract means when will this circuit give maximum power when will this circuit give maximum power when you can get the maximum power from this circuit when so the circuit will abstract abstract maximum power when your load resistance is equal to resistance of the network that means your load resistance will be equal to the resistance of the network that is your ri will be equal to your rl that means your load resistance your load resistance your load resistance is equal to your resistance of the network that is your ri isn't it equal to the equivalent resistance ri okay okay now the derivation i am drawing the circuit again once more so one voltage source was there okay one internal resistance was there small r okay then one big resistance capital r okay two terminals a then your load resistance rl again one terminal and then circuit this was a circuit isn't it your source e your resistance small r current flowing is i from big resistance capital r isn't it big resistance capital r this terminal was a this terminal was b this was your load resistance isn't it now let i be the current i be the current so this i be the current okay let i be the current therefore therefore what will be i i will be equal to we know i is equal to v by r what is v here it is nothing but e v by r and r is nothing but internal resistances there are two resistances in the circuit that is your ri that is the resistance of the circuit and your rl isn't it so ri plus rl v by r okay so now power across the load so what will the power across this load okay power across the load we know that power is equal to power is equal to i square r hai na so power across the load will be equal to pl is equal to i square r l means the resistance will be across the load resistance isn't it we have to consider load resistance to find the power across load isn't it so we know that i square this thing put the value here isn't it so after solving you get e square rl by ri plus rl whole square isn't it take this as equation 1 e square rl by ri plus rl whole square now the condition when for the maximum power to be delivered the condition is for maximum 
power the condition is dpl by derivative of load resistance is equal to zero that is power of the load by resistance of the load should be equal to zero okay now we will write the equation one we will differentiate the equation one okay differentiating equation one that is dpl by d rl dpl by d rl is equal to e square by 1 by ri plus rl whole square plus rl minus 2 by ri plus rl whole square okay next so this thing was equal to to be zero for the maximum power to be delivered so equating this as zero okay so that is e square by 1 ri plus rl whole square minus this 2 rl 2 rl by ri plus rl whole square simple now cross multiplication will solving this will then send it here like that okay so 2 rl okay 2 rl is equal to ri plus rl okay so 2 rl minus rl will send this rl here like this okay so 2 rl minus rl is equal to ri so ri is equal to rl so the condition is for maximum power theorem is satisfied now for maximum power okay the formula is for maximum power the formula is e square by 4 r l for maximum power the formula is e square by 4 r l okay next for maximum power from source maximum power from maximum power from source the formula is e square by 2 r l e square by 2 r l and now the efficiency then what will be the efficiency what will be the efficiency so efficiency will be maximum power then divided by maximum power from the source so maximum power is e square by 4 rl by e square by 2 rl that is equal to 1 by 2 or 50 percent hence the efficiency is 1 by 2 or 50 percent